week in our Early Gets Down to Size series, we've heard the amazing stories of people who have lost large amounts of weight and then kept it off. Krista lost 45 pounds after her baby was born. Justin lost 145 pounds, being consistent with diet and exercise. Sarah went to Weight Watchers and lost almost 150 pounds. Zuma had lap band surgery and lost about 100 pounds. Well, Early Gets Down to Size is not done yet. In January, we're launching our own weight loss program with a team of health and fitness experts, and we want you to be part of it. Details on that in just a minute. First, though, let's meet our experts, who we are calling the Bod Squad. First up, health and nutrition expert, Dr. Jeffrey Morrison. He's had a 10-year practice in integrated medicine and nutrition. He says slow and steady wins the race, and he says eat the right foods to lose weight and increase energy. Next, fitness expert, Gerilyn Coopersmith. She's a 15-year veteran of the fitness industry. She is the author of Fit and Female, and her mantra is exercise is not about being skinny, it's about being fit. And finally, Rovinia Brock, has her PhD in nutritional sciences and has been a health life coach for 20 years. She's the author of 10 Secrets to Live in Healthy. Her mantra, to change your life, you must first change your mind. And we want to say good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Pretty impressive resumes. And I'm feeling some really kind of good energy from you this morning Great. as we're about to embark on this adventure. First, though, some we want to ask you some questions about just the very nature of this. How did we get to a point in America where 70% of the people are overweight, 30% are obese? How do we wake up one day and find ourselves in this mess? Well, Harry, that's what we're concerned about is that obesity is on the rise. And a lot of it has to do with uh, poor food choices. There's fast food out there. It's mm -hmm. easy to pick up. They have a lot of sugar in it, which is addicting. People become addicted to these foods. And what we want to do is teach people how to eat healthy right. for long-term lifestyle. We talk about so often, I've been talking about for years about obesity being a precursor to serious, serious health issues. It's not just those health issues down the line. There are symptoms, you say, we should really be paying attention to. Yeah, well, of course, heart disease, diabetes, and high blood pressure we know come from obesity. But the things that we people are going to present with are fatigue, difficulty concentrating, and also pain. But as a person changes their diet, they're able to feel better because their body is starting to heal itself. Yeah. I, if this can work, and I'm so optimistic about this to get real people in here to do this, we've talked to people who have had, you know, been diagnosed with diabetes and had all the symptoms go away because they've lost weight. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could get some folks in here and literally change their lives? Incredible. What will be the most important message that you'll try to impart on the folks we bring in? I'm going to be the fitness person on this, so my message is that you have to move. That's part of the equation. The Time Magazine article notwithstanding, mm -hmm. exercise is not supposed to make you thin. Exercise is supposed to make you fit, right. healthy, lean, vibrant, and it's a critical part of this entire equation, so we can't leave it out. Right. Dieting is a big, big part of it, and you mm -hmm. can't exercise your way out of a lousy diet, right. but exercise is a critical component. That really is a key thing, because I think, I mean, even in my own life, I think, well, I can continue to eat this because I'm on the bike however many hours a day or on the weekends and do all this other stuff. It really isn't about that. It really is. You got to get your body moving. Yep. Yeah. You, you got to okay. get your body moving. Dr. Absolutely. Rowe, what are you going to help us with? How are we going to get get right in order to, to uh, make, the, make this all work? I'm going to help everyone connect with their relationship to food and their relationship to physical activity. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, they may be overeating, but we're going to discover what's eating them. How much has this to do with family? Because we often find where there is obesity in the family, it just ends up it's, it spreads almost like a virus. It has everything to do with family, and it has everything to do with your environment and the people with whom you connect. Uh, because those habits, you know, mm -hmm. you can stick with or you can ditch them. Yeah. So it has everything to do with family. But we're going to involve the entire family. Right. Uh, because it ought to be, fitness and good health ought to be a yeah. family affair. All right. So we're going to get our heads and hearts right. We're going to get out. We're going to start moving around. And we're going to get all the stuff We'll get the whole package here with all of you uh, as we embark on this adventure with our with our viewers. Yes. Thank you so much for being here this morning. We hope 
all of you who want to get healthy and fit, follow along with us in January and February as our BOD squad, team of weight loss experts, present their plans. And we're looking for a few people who want to join us right here on The Early Show on TV. So if you've been trying to lose weight and just can't get over the hump, or you've tried and you've failed, you think your story would interest us, Please go to our website, that's earlyshow.cbsnews.com. Let us know your story, and maybe you'll end up right here with us. That'd be great. It really, would. really Looking great. Looking forward to it. Thank yeah. you so much.